Lamium Aplexicale or Hendit. This is a magnificent plant and it got its common name Henbit from the observation that hens love eating this. Hummingbirds actually enjoy this for the nectar. Yeah, we don't have too many flowers out right now, but that's okay. And of course, once these flowers are in bloom, well, maybe they would have been in bloom today except for the fact that it's raining, it brings in the bees. Henbit is unlike other spring greens, which can be bitter or tough. This can be actually on the sweet side. It lacks any substantial aroma, but it's earthly, eh, earthy, not earthly, earthy, and it's mildly minty. Now, depending on where you live, this grows anywhere from late winter through spring. Henbit is occasionally confused with two other members of the mint family, purple dead nettle, which I don't have here, but I did do a video on purple dead nettle, and I'll post that in the links below. And another one, which is over here, Creeping Charlie. There we go. But I can't stay out here too long because I don't want the rain to affect my camera. So I'm gonna go back here. This is a plant that contains a significant amount of iron, minerals, and antioxidants. It's been valued for its natural medicinal qualities as an anti-rheumatic, diaphoretic, laxative, and it actually has stimulating effects. Let's see. I'll have to pick one here. I'm going to show you the stem as best as I can. Please bear with me. It's hard to see, but this stem is square. Let me see if I can get this more steady. Hang on, guys. There. So you can see that the stem is square. This is a plant that actually can be used in egg dishes or with uh, in fritter batter. It has an herbal flavor. The leaves can be used in making pastas, or even homemade flour for that matter. This is a plant that originated from Eurasia and Northern Africa. It is prolific and it's a hardy plant. So it basically has made its way around the world. One of the places it loves to grow are in disturbed areas, roadsides, sunny yards, and of course, urban settings. This is the side of a house. It actually has provided valuable erosion control in many cropland fields in the southern US. But unlike many of its other relatives in the mint family, it really doesn't have that distinct mint scent. So there we go. And here's another one that's just starting. And there's one, a few more here. You can see they're popping up here. And these are rather dusty, so they're not exactly the best specimens, but that's okay. There we go. So Henbit, another amazing plant in the mint family. Just gotta show you this one, this is cool. Doesn't that look Incredible, a beautiful dandelion popping up amongst all the creeping Charlie. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And to all of you who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart.